In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most unique routes in Madden 23 and how to utilize this route to be able to beat man coverage and zone coverage and specifically force your opponent into a defense that they probably don't want to be in uh, if they're being honest. And so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of reset our zone drops here. This is out of the Washington uh, football team offensive playbook. And we're going to be primarily focusing again on just breaking down some basic coverages here. I'm going to grab a couple different man coverages and then we're going to have cover four drop. And I'm going to be breaking Breaking down the play bench pivot. This bench pivot play is really good this year. It's out of the Washington playbook. If you're watching this video and you're not a Patreon member of mine yet, I would really encourage you to consider joining that. For only $10, um, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including the Washington offensive ebook as soon as we launch it. And I'm planning to launch this ebook uh, within 48 hours of. Uh, August 6th or August 16th so sometime between August 16th and August 18th we'll have a complete ebook for you out of the gun bunch out of Washington so the play is bench pivot and what we're going to do to set this play up is really relatively simple we're just going to streak Scotty Miller and that's basically the setup but what I love about this play is if I press my cover four, this speed out route is really the beauty of this concept. If you watch this locomotion, he is going to just obliterate zone, as you can see. And he also pulls pressed quarters and thirds, uh, which is really, really interesting. So if I, again, pinch my defense, you're going to see here that he is going to pull this outside quarter and then that's going to, I'll show you what that does to the tight end here momentarily. But as you can see, I can throw, I can literally throw this all day long if they don't have a hard flat so let's say that they put a hard flat out of their cover four um, I'll show you my play art so you can see I have hard flats and I'm gonna pass commit and what you'll see with this little quick out is it gets kind of muddied up and this is still gonna be open for them to have to you know handle what this also allows us to do is if I go to cover two and I hard flat my outside cornerback which is a cardinal sin of cover two you don't want to have to do this he will play that better, but now look at my tight end running in the corner wide open for an absolute laser. So you see how this play can kind of start, how you can start to kind of scheme um, around this. Now, another thing that I want to show you real quick is man-to-man. Man-to-man um, -man is, is okay against this, um, but sometimes you'll see he will get that separation. And you can kind of rat catch that against man-to-man. -man. Um, there's a little bit better versions of this route against man-to-man, -man, but this is something that you can do. I'll show you a quickly um, a motion snap of circle and just kind of snap him like that. Now he's not bumped and I can throw this with a hard outside pass lead, but as you can see, it's not quite as good. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. Press man is probably the best counter to this, but it literally breaks down zone better than any play that I know in the game from a simplicity perspective. I want to show you something else about this cover four. So you see against cover four, that outside quarter really doesn't play that tight end like he probably should. This is still really effective against cover four. Um, it's really good against match coverage. Let me see if I have, I think I do somewhere in here, but I guess I don't have it here. Um, but against match coverage, that out route will be open because again, they have to have an out, a hard flat from the outside corner. Um, and that's really what makes this play so effective. So we can beat cover, um, we can beat cover four, we can beat cover two, and we can also beat cover three. You'll see here, just a nice, I'm, I'm just in love with that route. And it's a quick 15 yards, 10 to 15 yards almost every time. If they don't have a hard flat out of a cover two shell. I showed you cover four hard flat. I'm gonna show you cover two hard flat. What you'll see is same basic thing. This hard flat, it looks like he's gonna play it, but you can throw that with an outside pass lead and you can get six to seven yards. In Madden 23, the fact that you can get six to seven yards real quick is really, really, really good. Um, it's really good for keeping your offense on schedule. Now let's say that they do go to man-to-man. -man. I'm gonna give you some backside concepts for a man-to-man. -man. If they do run a run like press man, this tight end route's not terrible. You'll see here, um, actually it was a terrible throw by Brady, but you'll see here, sometimes this tight end route will shake him. Um, it's really more of a ratings thing. You need a little better route running than Kyle Rudolph is gonna have. But you will see, like right on the cut, right there, I could kind of aggressive catch that. Um, so that's something that I wanted to show. But really the main thing you're gonna be looking for when they run man to man, is you're gonna be looking to your back side of your play. So you read man here. Okay, I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna hit my my uh, my check down to Mike Evans on the back side of this. And I'll show you that. Uh, I'll show you that a little better here. 
Now, again, a three rec is, is really helpful to try to combat this, but I just can't tell you how good. It's, you can kind of fit it in an aggressive catch if it's that good of a route. So that's just something you need to know. Another thing you can do with this, if you do have like an outside apprentice, which I know, you know, not many people have at this point, but you can put him on a skinny post. And this backside skinny post with this pivot route to Scotty Miller, uh, they kind of work hand in hand and help each other get open basically. So, you know, man to man, this is meant to be a zone beater, um, but it can actually beat man to man. You could do something like a little slant. Um, if you were really concerned that it might be man to man, then instead of streaking Scotty Miller, just slant him. And a lot of times, this backside slant, see how he kind of gets caught up and then he gets free just like that. So that is a great way to beat man out of this play. But this is one of my favorite zone beaters in the game. I seriously can't stress to you enough how much I love this play against zone. You can wheel the running back if you want to go five out. I recommend just blocking the running back. ID that corner over there so that that way it's going to help with your pass protection. And please take advantage of that nine-yard dot every single time that they're not playing a hard flat out of a cover two shell. And then when they do play a hard flat out of a cover two shell, I love to go to the play verticals. Um, it's very similar. Uh, or not similar, but, I mean, it just takes advantage of that, of that defense. You'll see here he's in a hard flat. I throw over the hard flat. And you see how we're playing, you know, chess with them with uh, with the bunch. So really, really good route combo. Love that concept against cover two. Thanks for watching the video. I hope that this was helpful. And if you want to learn more about this stuff, make sure you get into our Patreon. That's where we release our highest level tips, all of our ebooks, and all of our exclusive updates to those ebooks to keep those fresh for you guys all season long. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of the video and join at the link below.